Majority state-owned free citizens might be increasing its interest rates soon. This is according to group CEO Larry Nath, who says the bank is reviewing its options, cost of funds and liquidity market conditions. If uh, our bank does revisit our, um, our rate, it would be probably within the next month or so. This comes days after the central bank increased its repo rate yet again by 25 basis points to 3.25 percent. And according to the central bank governor, the increased repo rate is a signal for banks to adjust their interest rate structure, a signal he doesn't expect the banks to disregard. Two months ago, the governor said he expected to see a gradual increase in interest rates. But since then, only Republic Bank has increased its prime lending rate from 7.5% to 7.75%. On the issue of foreign exchange, the Fair Citizens Group CEO says while Christmas is always a tight period with supply, he expects it will be better this year. We've managed to meet our demand and if we cannot meet all of the demand for a customer on one day, we will try to meet it within the next day. But with falling oil prices, which leads to a drop in revenue from energy companies, the question is, how would this now affect the supply of foreign exchange when these energy companies are the major suppliers? With oil prices being a bit low, you could see a reduction in supply. And I think that the banks are trying to balance that up. As, and you would also know that the central bank has been intervening in the market much more often. And I think that has helped. On Monday, the central bank governor said businesses were purchasing foreign exchange and then depositing it into funds. And this, he said, is creating a further problem in the market. But the first citizen's head explains why this is taking place. If there is uncertainty during a period of tightness, businessmen would probably forward buy or buy extra so that if they have suppliers to pay right after Christmas, they wouldn't have to go back to the market and have to go through another search for foreign exchange. Judy Kanhai, CNC3 Business Watch.